Uh, hello? Is this thing on? Yes, if you've wondered, I'm still here. I've been insanely busy trying many new things like adding portals to Sea of Thieves. Here I come! Oh, I made it through again! <laughs> Programming on stream. Consume! <laughs> <laughs> and streaming Dragon's Dogma featuring Danny DeVito voiced by chat. He's a bird. <laughs> <laughs> I've never really asked you guys to watch my non Sea of Thieves content, but right now it would mean the world to me if you stop by the stream to see what kind of nonsense we're doing leading up to season 12 of Sea of Thieves. Okay, let me just take a breath for this next part. <sighs> oh my God, Rare cooked so hard. Did you guys see this? Not only did we get the biggest info dump we've ever gotten on future content, but it's literally all of my dream content. They actually made new tools and a f ton of them. Some of which I've personally pitched myself years ago and they're actually happening. I'll do deep dives on these features when they release, but for now, let's quickly cover everything and then we'll talk about this reveal. Season 12 is adding two new loadout weapons for the first time ever, the double barrel pistol and throwing knives. We're also getting two new traversal methods, zip lines and Tony Hawk harpoon grinds. Additionally, three new tools are coming. The scatter shot, a short range naval weapon that creates multiple small holes. The bone caller, which summons skeletons that fight for you, including on enemy ships. And finally, the wind caller. This thing y'all, this item embodies the entire spirit of Sea of Thieves more than anything else. It can be used to speed up your ship in a headwind or even beyond full billow, launch players into the air, propel yourself in the water, turn rowboats into jet skis. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, it can also let you glide in midair. This thing is crazy. I've said for years now, Rare should just throw immersion out of the window and add Kawasaki jet skis. And this is pretty damn close. And that gliding tech, can we shoot it at an angle to fly? I need to know. Ooh. Finally, Rare is adding a dedicated team to work permanently on fixing the game, which is extremely, incredibly broken. Season 13 brings the return of the Flamebeard fire boat blade thing. I don't know, ask Falcor. It's a new world event that roams around the map. If you defeat it, you can actually take over the ship and sail it around yourself with a crew of skeletons. It's basically the man of war everyone has asked for since launch. Oh yeah, it also has two open crew swabbies on the front that throw fire on everything. Wait, no, 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 hold on. Nah, nah, it's just a flamethrower, sorry. Taking the ship over means you are the new event boss for other players on the server. Additionally, this season is adding a new type of fort called Skeleton Camps that contain a puzzle room beneath them that add tribute to the spicy boat. Tribute can be stacked like Hourglass Allegiance to eventually turn in, but if you sink, you lose it all. This season sounds super cool, but I am a bit worried that being an event, it could go the way of the Skull of Siren Song where people just don't engage with it a ton, but I hope I'm wrong. Season 14 is still in extremely early stages, but Rare is calling it the Blurb Season. Also, they're considering Pirates of Mischief. Mine's better. Seriously though, every single thing about this season is my dream content. It focuses on stealth and causing mischief, AKA with other players. <laughs> stealth mechanics like crouching, hanging off the side of enemy ships, and hiding in chests, which I actually made a gif of ages ago. To be clear, I'm not saying Rare stole my ideas. They're very likely just, they had the same ones. But I'm just so excited it's actually happening. Enemies will be able to carry you around and you can even sneak around with your legs out the bottom Metal Gear Solid style. Another new armory weapon is coming this season with the Blow Dart, a silent weapon that fires darts that do different effects such as tracking players and loot, attracting skellies to a certain point so you can blow them up, or generating fake sound effects depending on what you shoot. We're also getting traps that you can set for players or PVE, as well as a grapple gun, finally. Both of these I made a video about before, so I'm very happy to see them finally included. The grapple gun looks like it's a new armory weapon, but I guess that's not technically confirmed, so we're not sure on that. It can harpoon items and players, as well as let you traverse great distances. You can even board ships using the grapple gun from the water or 
from the air. It does have ammunition, however, so it's not infinite. Okay, that's the full list, I'm pretty sure. Mind blown. I will admit it's frustrating that it took six years for Rare to realize that this is the type of content SOT needs. Not adventures, or not Monkey Island, uh, but better late than never, I suppose. These new updates coupled with the PS5 release next month is really going to bring about the golden age of Sea of Thieves. I really didn't think it would be possible this late in the game's life cycle, but they might just pull it off. There is one very, very large looming issue, however. The game is broken. With all of the extra hype and an entire new platform of players approaching, Rare has never been in a tougher spot. Bugs, crashes, hit reg, shark nados, entire events not working or even giving rewards. All of you here now watching this video have to remember that we're all broken individuals. We were born into the hit reg and crashes. We were molded by it. This flood of new players will be coming in with fresh eyes and dear God, I hope Rare gets things under control by then. Keep your fingers crossed, y'all, and thanks for watching.